know, that's right, Mike. It was uh, chilly last night as well. That you're taking a look at the eclipse, the partial eclipse last night reached about 98% uh, completely shadowed by the earth. And you can see that uh, occurrence. And we appreciate uh, Lori Frost for sending in this picture. Very kind of her to stay up all night and take these pictures from the full moon to the 97% covered uh, shadow on the uh, moon. So pretty cool to see. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. Uh, I was asleep, so I missed it. So it was good for Lori to send that in. Wind speeds right now, a little breezy. South winds at 16 miles per hour. So we have a little bit of a southerly breeze across the area. And that makes it feel a little chilly, especially with temperatures in the 50s at this hour. And then we have those wispy high to mid-level clouds rolling across the area, creating a beautiful sunset right now as the sun is officially setting for the day. But once again, we're in northwesterly flow and generally means to the southwest you have warm air, to the northeast it's colder, and the general jet stream is from northwest to southeast. So we get these low pressure systems to come through and it pulls in the cool air down to the south and it kind of reverberates up. Uh, reverts back to the north uh, with time and then we'll see that as we go through the next four to five days a roller coaster ride in temperatures and you can see that Saturday 67 well here comes another cool front dropping us down into the 50s very similar to today on Sunday and Monday looks pretty chilly now as we head towards Thanksgiving our computer models kind of split some say, well, you know, it's the same pattern. Others are saying it's going to become a little more southwesterly focused, so we get a storm system to move into the area, and that could bring us some rain to the region. We're going to have to wait and see where that sets up. But, I mean, the pattern we're in pretty much would say that most of the rain should stay to our southeast, and we would turn cooler for Thanksgiving Day and the day after. But a big warm-up probably by the weekend. 55 right now in Tulsa's southeast winds at 16 miles per hour. A little bit of a breeze, humidity really low, so it's very dry outside, uh, very November like with dew points in the lower 20s. It's weird to see that. That's rare to see that low uh, without very cold air in place. 42 is where we're heading tomorrow morning. Some moisture is going to try to move back in the area with those south winds trying to pull in some deeper moisture back here in northeast Oklahoma. It's going to be warm -er, <laughs> warmer tomorrow than what we experienced today. 67 for your afternoon high here in Tulsa. But once again, becoming mostly cloudy by afternoon, which is pretty typical for a November day. All right, so as we look at our super 10 day forecast, we're going to break this down for you. So 67 tomorrow, but part of the super 10 day aspect is we can break this down even further. So we're going to split apart tomorrow and say, hey, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. in Jinx for the Christmas parade beginning at 10 a.m. Temps are going to be in the upper 40s. Uh, Karen and Mike and uh, a lot of our crew from 2 News Oklahoma is going to be out there. Uh, 53 degrees, 11 a.m. temps in the upper 50s with mostly fair sky. So it should be a really nice parade in Jinx tomorrow for the Jinx Christmas parade. All right, back to your forecast. Sunday 59, Monday 56. And we can actually pick any of these days we want and break it down further for you. And that's what we'll do with our super 10 day forecast. Mid 50s on your Monday, 63 on Tuesday. And then here comes a chance for you a few showers Wednesday night into Thanksgiving Day. I don't think it's going to be a complete washout. Again, low chances for rain, 60 for high. A little colder Friday.